it is what it's not thursday night it's actually a tuesday night yep uh we have changed our crafting get creative brain night to tuesdays and i'm hoping that might be a little bit be a little bit better night for people to come on and join me and Danita when we co-paint, which is tonight. Hello, by the way, I am Kim. I'm Crafting with Kim, and uh, I'm going to be co-painting with my friend Danita Atkinson in a few minutes, and we're going to be doing a really fun flamingo. So just hang tight, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, it's me and ta -da -da. it's Dan Danita. Hey, yeah, it's it's good to be back on screen with you, back live and, and doing some fun painting together. Uh, I missed it last week. I guess we're going to decide we're going to do every two weeks instead of every week. But um, yeah, we won't want to burn people out nor ourselves. And you were on vacation. So, you know, you had a good time there. So once again, I'm going to introduce myself. Once again, I'm Kim Hostetter, Crafting with Kim. You can find me on Facebook and YouTube. And we have Danita Atkinson. Danita, tell them about you. My name is Danita, and I'm with the Buttercup Creations on Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, all the all the sites. Pinterest too, cool. You know what? I do have a Pinterest site, and I've got to get working on that thing. I just go there to look for ideas. I haven't done much with it myself to try to promote, but I need to do that. So um, anyway, tonight we are actually going to be. Well, I am like in flamingo like madness i guess i've been flamingoing out the last couple of days being how it's summer we live in florida well i live in florida danita's in texas um but i've just been in the flamingo mood and so uh we're gonna paint a little cool flamingo painting i don't even have the image because i've been doing so many i pretty much got it in my head but i did want to show you up oh, put it in the camera there this cute little surfboard i got some of heidi surfboards and i did one my one of them like a little flamingo guy. I've got a few of them I'm working on trying to get all 10 of them painted up so I can try to sell them. And then I got a flamingo uh, porch board back here, which um, I won't bore you with that one, but it's actually a gift for my aunt. And I think it's going to be pretty cute. So uh, without anything, you want to say anything, Danita? No, I'm good, but that's um, that board is very adorable. You should show it online. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah, I will. I'll actually post a picture of it actually at the thing. I'll, I just haven't had a chance. Like, it was raining yesterday after I finished it, and I like to take the pictures outside so I didn't have a chance to actually get a good photo of it. So, But I will do that. And like I said, it's a gift that's going away, so it's not going to be in my stash. So anyway, tonight, like I said, it's Flamingo Madness. It's for the Bird Brain Girls are going to paint some flamingos. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> and uh, basically, do you have the image yourself, Danita? Do you have a printout of it? Printed it off. I couldn't get my printer to work. Okay, I didn't either. Um, like I said, it's it's a very simple. Uh, well, let me take you down below, and I can show you. I actually did uh, a little bit of an outline sketch on it. It's sort of a tracer, but I'm going to do a little bit different version. And you can see here by the pencil sketch, it's basically just a flamingo. It, mine's going to have a back background, but I'm going to add a couple of things. It's a little bit different than the one that uh, we were going to use our reference from, but both of them will come out really cool and different. And that's what we like to do. We like to add our own little cool touches to it to make it ours. Okay. So we will go ahead and get started. All right, so me, I generally start with my background first, which is going to be black. Uh, I've been doing a lot of black light painting recently, too, which is kind of interesting. I've used a lot of back, black backgrounds. But in this case, I'm actually going to do my foreground pieces first. I'm going to work on my flamingo and then my hibiscus flowers and then my leaves. I'm going to do all that first, and then I'm going to do my black background. And there's a particular science behind that, and I'll explain that as I go along. So... Um, how is yours are you basically following the tracer danita or what yeah i'm trying to get something drawn out now okay oh we got somebody hey francesca hello girlfriend glad to hear you here again with us thank you thank you thank you francesca is one of the gals in this new uh, accountability group i was just telling you about hey there yeah and she was on real quick last week, too, when we were doing our, or the last, not last week, the week before when we were doing our other little, uh, what the heck was I doing? Or right when you were on when I was doing the flame mug. Is that what it is? I think it was doing the flame mug last week. That thing turned out pretty cool, by the way. All right, so here we go. 
uh, flamingo. So like, like basically what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to be using a couple different colors. You could use a regular standard pink if you wanted. By the way, for those that don't know, uh, we're using the basic acrylics. Uh, both of us like Art Deco. You know, Heidi, our little uh, pink coach, you know, she basically got us turned on to these, but they are a really good brand. That uh, Folk Arts, I've got a little bit of mix of this and that, though, with some of the ones I'm using tonight. But I do have... Oh, they have my honey just walked in. Put you up to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this fuchsia pink and the white and blend them together. I'm not going to start with my, I'm going to start with this smaller brush here, I think, just because I like to get a little bit of that. I'm going to put these two together and make uh, a nice, like, light pink color. And basically, I'm just going to do, uh, when you start painting, you know, when you first start your painting, I mean, it's just basically getting your your, your colors down. You're just working on getting your outline, not your outline colors, but your base colors. And that's when you start working with your details. All right. So, yeah, I'm just going to just go ahead and I'm putting the two together, kind of do a little blend of the, the fuchsia with the white. Okay. And blends in. Where are you, Danita? I'm trying you to disappear. There it is. <laughs> you gotta disappear on me. Yeah. Are you having technical difficulties, darling? Why today? Oh, you sent me a picture of a flamingo, and you know what? But maybe, interestingly enough, the flamingos are actually a little bit more orange. Oh, I do have my artifacts tonight, and I'm going to talk a little bit about flamingos. They're actually peach. We went to the zoo last week, and yeah. I Peachy pink. Yeah, they're not really pink, and they, they are more peachy. Everybody kind of uses pink, though. I'm not sure why. But uh, I will tell you one artifact, because, you know, I do that whenever I do a live. I like to tell a little bit about yeah. the subject matter we're teaching. Uh, do you know why flamingos, number one, they're all different colors, and what causes their feathers to be, um, causes their feathers to be their colors? No, what gives their feathers their colors is what I'm trying to say. Oh, no, I don't. What is it? You don't? No. It's their diet. Ah. Di yep, the diet. So I'm assuming that the ones that are more peaky, peachy might be, uh, yeah, it's what they eat. Francesca just says, looked up. She said it's what they eat. Yeah. So I'm wondering if they eat lots of shrimp. <laughs> that's the only thing that I can think of that might be that's that color, you know, that's in the water. But but they don't live like in areas where shrimp are, do they? That's that was even more confusing to me. I didn't have time to even go further and research that, but you know, that's what I found so far. And I'm like, and I do remember hearing that one time, you know. All right, so I'm just kind of I now know this one's gonna be a little bit darker than a regular flamingo, but hey, you know, it's the artistic license, and we're just kind of like, are you making fun of me, Robert? Robert's in the house over here. He's he's gonna tease me. Uh oh. What you doing over here? You're messing with my stuff. Puzzle. Oh, yeah, you'll find one over there. Anyway, yeah, so I'm just kind of blending some little tones in here. I might lighten it up a little bit because it is kind of dark, but I don't know. I've got critters coming out of somewhere all over my painting. All right. So. All right. And I did look at the legs, too. The legs, like the one you sit in, the legs are a little bit more like... Um, I don't know. They got a little bit more kind of an orangey. Well, kind of a pink orangey tone, too. Kind of like, sort of like the body. They're almost the color of the body. Exactly. The flamingo legs. Yeah. An orange has no pencil. Yes. No pencil. I have pencils right here. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do the legs. Like I said, now I'm just basically filling in my colors, and we'll go back and, and work on some detail. Did I get this on my, my lovely little... Thing here you like my palette you guys like my palette <laughs> yeah hey, yeah jet's here too okay got another ppq sister in the house woo, woo. hello ah! hey, <laughs> hey girls good to have you here thanks for showing up appreciate it jet i thought you said something about having to work you weren't gonna be able to make it i'm glad you're here though this is cool it's about time we got some love in the house. Danita and I, we like painting, but it That's sure right. is nice to have some groups of people coming on the board and hanging out with us and having some fun. We like to have a lot of fun. That's right. At least I kind of goof around a little bit. I'm kind of a goofy person. 
Mm. Well, honey, I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of painting alive. I can't get up and get you a pencil. I see that. Exactly. <laughs> well, I don't have a good one in there, honestly. They're all pretty trashy. So <laughs> I don't know what to tell. You probably have, there. I do have a sharpener over there if you want to sharpen it up. So, yeah, anyway, yeah, I got orange legs here. What color are you going to do? Are you going to do your legs pink? Yes, I am. All right. Hey, any other girls want to hop on and paint or join in on the live? You're more than welcome. Are you doing watercolors? No, these are acrylics. These are acrylics jet, um, just your basic, you know, deco, art deco acrylics, nothing fancy. Uh, I do sometimes like to use them a little bit watered down and blend them out, but I'm just basically going pretty solid tonight with these. So, but this is so cool. I'm so glad. Like I said, it's just nice to finally get. We've been doing this uh, co painting for what? This is probably like what our fourth time, Danita? Something like that? Yeah, I believe so. I believe so. Okay. Yeah. And Third or fourth uh, time. Of course, it was Heidi's idea. I saw her doing it with a couple of them. I'm like, oh, you know what? I am so lonely and bored trying to talk to the camera by myself. I need somebody to come on and paint with me. So, or, and actually, like I said, I, I, I paint, but we do other things too, girls, besides paint. And I'm going to start whipping up some other stuff um, because I'm just kind of like, I'm not bored with painting, but I like to just have a little variety. And I know <laughs> we're talking about finding a niche. I'm like, honey, I can't find no niche. Variety is my niche, I guess. I don't know what to tell you because I just like doing a little bit of everything. So I figured, hey, you know, go with the flow. That's what I do. We're talking about doing the memberships and all that, and, you know, finding like one particular thing to focus on. I'm like, um, I don't know. I think my niche is just, that's why I'm called Crafting with Kim. I just made a boo -boo. Crafting with Kim is simply because I like to do a lot of things. You know, I'm not the best painter in the world. I'm not the best of that. I'm just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I love working with clay, and I'm going to start doing some clay stuff here soon, too. Man, I'm just dripping water all over the place. I guess I need to move that. Okay, oh, so... For you guys that are just joining us, by the way, let me look up so if I can see my my beautiful face. I'm gorgeous, aren't I? Yeah, come on. No. Anyway, Crafting with Kim, Facebook, <laughs> and YouTube. I'm being silly. We're all beautiful girls, aren't we? We're a beautiful bunch of women, creatives, right? All right. Um, Crafting with Kim, Facebook, YouTube. Please subscribe. Just starting out that YouTube channel. I could get some love over there. Subscribe, notifications. Uh, Facebook shares, likes, all that good stuff. You know, just let us know, and um, that you're on and you're you're liking what we're doing, and let everybody else know too. Like I said, I'm, I'm right. doing a lot of. These are, you know, I've I've got some Zoom class. I like to teach on Zoom, and I do have the Margarita class coming up. I've got a, only two girls signed up so far, but hey, you know what? You start small and you work up, right? So um, anyway, I've got that class coming up. Anybody wants to. Do a margarita Zoom class. I got that going on, and there's just a couple of couple of girlfriends I went on a cruise with last year, actually. But you know, they live over in Lakeland, Florida, and I know that uh, Francesca. You said that you're in New Smyrna Beach, right? You're New Smyrna, and Jet, where are you from? Where are you at? Let's see. Uh, I am, where am I at? I gotta let that flamingo dry, and then I'm gonna start working on my little hibiscus here, I guess. Let me do something different with these hibiscus. Francesca, I, forgot you. I know you said you're different, but where is Jet from? That's what I'm looking for. Oh, Edgewater. Okay, Edgewater. Yeah, I've been over there before. Uh huh. Good Edgewater area. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, we'll definitely have to hook up. I've been into land about, um, I don't know, about two years. I used to live in Flagler Beach. Oh, Jet, you're in Texas. Hey, Danita's in Texas too. Where Close are to you? Dallas, Fort Worth. Danita, she says Dallas, Fort Worth. Where are you at? Oh, I'm in Texarkana. Texarkana. All right, ladies. You know what got you know what to do. <laughs> you need to hook up. All right, where's my three quarter brush? All right, I'm gonna do a little. I'm gonna bake some yellow and red hibiscus. Those were those are my favorite. All right, I'm just going to take the yellow first and just go around my hibiscus flowers. I said it's going to be a little messy at first, and I don't even care if I get out of the lines because that's where the black comes in, and that's why I'm painting the black ground in the back 
Well, that's a tongue twister. Black background, black background, black background. Say that three times fast, okay? Anyway, getting my thing on here. Ah, there we go, camera. See, I want to get a two camera set up. I don't like this back and forth with the cameras back and forth. That's what I'm working on. That's going to be my next move here. Okay. It's my little two camera set up. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, my, um, I just did this really cool porch leaner for my aunt. She's coming down from St. Augustine to visit and hang out tomorrow. Her birthday's next week, bringing a girlfriend. They're going overnight. And I made her a cool porch leaner. <laughs> One of those types that show always gets, you know, you always give paint gifts and make gifts for your family. She's like my go-to person for getting gifts for me that are handmade. But she loves them. You know, she's probably like, oh my God, she's getting, she's giving me something else. <laughs> Another <laughs> painting. But she always, she, you know, she's sweet. Oh, I love it. La, 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 la. You know, so okay. anyway, but that, I think she's really going to like the porch leaner. And she's, um, she's, um, what do you say? She is like totally... You know, I'm going to let that dry a little bit more. I want to make that more solid red. She um, loves hibiscus. And so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to, I mean, you know, I kind of did something. And she lives in St. Augustine, close to the beach. And she used to live, like, in a house real close to the beach. So I made her that really cool, like, flamingo hibiscus thing. And she likes pink, so I think it's she's really going to like it. Yeah. Have we got any more comments here? Texas, close to Dallas, Fort Worth. Cool. Kristen Nicole, okay, that's somebody. Hopefully, she'll pop on here in a minute. She's just now seeing my live. All right, ladies, let's see. Uh, okay, so now that we got settled in a little bit, and we're getting our paint groove on, um, I like to do something that um, I kind of came up with or I thought was kind of clever. You know, when you're painting, everybody starts like, you know, everybody's got their own little gift for gab and what they want to talk about. And I started thinking about, you know what? I like to have people learn about painting, but I also like to tell them a little bit about what we're, the subject matter is we're painting. So in other words, we're basically dealing with tropical flamingos. That's the theme of the, the uh, painting here. So I pulled up some uh, Google like facts, Google facts, and I call them artifacts. Ooh, artifacts. <laughs> that clever. Oh, I actually got to do this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just did this today. Maybe if I can get it to work. I'm such a dork. Okay. Show my, show it. Show, show. Is it going to work? There we go. See my little banner across the bottom of the screen? <laughs> it says artifacts. Okay. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Artifacts. Okay. So I guess I'll go ahead and hide it now. So that was kind of fun. Okay. Artifacts. So flamingos. First, well, some of them are kind of gross, but this one was, uh, do you know what a group of flamingos is called? Flamingi. Mm, well, no, actually, it, it's kind of funny because I started laughing because it's all about, you know, you had to talk about feather ruffling and all that kind of thing. Oh. Uh, flam flamboyance. Flamboyance. Oh. <laughs> that's, okay. that's a group of flamingos because they got the pretty little feather and they kind of prance around a little bit. And also, does anybody know where why they're named flamingos? Where the where the word came from? I actually asked Robert this because Robert. Well, I'm going to give it away if I say that. So maybe I better wait. Let's see if somebody can guess it. Anybody know? Anybody know where uh, the word flamingo came from? Where it derived from? Let's see if I'm going to like this red idea here on these things. I might have to tone this down a little bit. Like from dancing or something like that? Well, you know, you would think a little bit, but actually that comes from it. I'm not washing them like that. I got to blend that in a little bit better. That's not like it. There we go. It looks a little better now. Um, no, actually, the word came from, well, it, it's a Spanish word. It means fire. Oh, okay. It, well, that it means fire, which makes sense. That's because of the color, because of their color. The flamingo red color, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. I had to just blend that in a little bit better there with those flamingos, with the um, hibiscus. Um, yeah, so that's that's where the name came from. It was derived from the Spanish word flamingo, which means red. Okay. Nice. Right. And speaking of red, trying to get my <laughs> hibiscus flowers blended in here. Getting a little bit too much red on there. I did. I looked at uh, flamingo 
I mean a flamingo, a hibiscus flower before I did this. It's just got like a little touch of red. I'm getting a little bit too much red on there. I probably have to go back over a little bit. But anyway, tone it down here. I don't want it to be orange. It's supposed to be red. So anyway, uh, so tell me a little bit about your trip. You went to San, Di uh, San Francisco. No. <laughs> San Diego. San Diego. No, this San Diego. Can you hear me? Huh? Oh, San Diego. No. San Antonio. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I went to San Antonio. San Marco. San Antonio. It's one of those sands. One of those <laughs> sands. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'm thinking. Okay, yeah. yes. So tell me. Yeah, we had fun. We went to Sea Life. We went to River River um, Street, River Park, or River River mm -hmm. Street downtown. Oh, the River Walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, walk the river every night, and um, we went to the zoo. We had so much fun. We got a lot of pictures. I got lots of pictures of animals, so I'll have it for inspiration. Right. The zebras, the elephants, the flamingo. The tigers, the cheetahs, everything. I mean, everything you can think of. Cool, man. Yeah, it was so fun. Cool, cool. But I, I, I remember I told you that I used to live in Texas. I went to, the, I was in the military and I was stationed in Beeville. And I went there one time, San Antonio. Um, and you know it was pretty cool i do have photographs of my daughter who was three at the time and she was riding an elephant ah uh. yep yeah, she was riding an elephant with my with my girlfriend at the time uh -huh. so was that yeah i don't even remember where we were i just remember that i mean it didn't see i don't know if it was a zoo or what it was but i i found that picture actually not too long i'm like oh look gosh she was so little now she's What's 38 and got freaking kids of her own and Got one that just got a driver's license and working and oh my God, crazy, huh? Crazy how they grow up, become kids. I mean, like adults, yeah. kid adults. Yeah. So, but yeah, that was, that was a cool memory. And I just remember the river walk and, you know, hanging down like that. I always thought it was a neat little, a neat city. Of course, that was in the eighties. <laughs> Is it still like looking pretty good though? It's still pretty clean and oh yeah, neat and there. Yeah, there's a lot of beautiful old historic buildings. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, awesome. Have it was snooze. It's a breakfast place. It's like go there and have breakfast and uh, mm -hmm. let me see. It's it's only open till two thirty, so it's not open all day. So um What's it called again? Snooze. Snooze. Yeah, that's the, it's a breakfast plate, like breakfast and brunch. Gotcha. Uh huh. Oh, the food was so good. Okay, cool. It, well, you know, I don't know. I guess that's what a lot of people do is when they go. I, I'm when I vacation. Of course, you know, food's a good thing. I'm like the adventurous type. I'm kind of like Heidi. You know, I want to get out and go like hiking or water i mean i'm a water freak just yeah. like that i mean i love to get out and do water stuff like oh my god that that's me all together um so yeah yeah we was i try to oh you're with a group okay i got you kids and his family gotcha you know, he was there together i see okay i thought you guys went along all right no. that's cool me his daughters both of his daughters and his grandson Oh, nice. There was five of us there. Uh-huh. Cool, man. Yeah, cool, man. Cool. Do they all live in Texas, too? No, they live in Arkansas, and one lives in Arkansas. Alabama. Arkansas. In Alabama? Yep. What part of Alabama? You know, that's where I'm from, originally. Huntsville. You like my flowers? Who likes my flower? Francesca. Well, you know, I'm just kind of winging it here, Francesca. I'd, I should have had me a little bit better reference to look at, but I just kind of took a quick peek and I thought, well, let's see if I can make this work. I think eventually, on camera, it probably looks better than it does in person. Somehow, you know, it always looks better when you take a picture of it. It'll all come out in the wash, right? Exactly. Somebody says, just paint, just paint over it. It don't work right. Yeah. You paint it till you get it right. After we do the highlight. That looks pretty good. All right, I'll kind of leave them at that for now. 
play with them too much. All right, I'm gonna start working on my leaves now. You see, see how um, that's what I need to get me. I need to get me one of them books. Um, I'm trying to find me a spiral, and believe it or not, I went to uh, Michael's the other day and I couldn't find one. But this one, I I want, and you can get them at Amazon. That's what I was looking on Amazon. I need to pick me up one because I'm tired of using all these boards and wrap canvases for these little sample paints because they just start collecting up too much. You know. All right, here we go. Let's do some. Um, let's do some leaves here. I'm just gonna do like a little. I took a little bit of the light green and the dark green. I'm just kind of blending them together. It's funny. I don't know about you, but. Um, I, you know, these, these, uh, palm, what are they? these aren't really palm leaves. What kind of, they're like elephant ear leaves or whatever the heck they're called. These little leaves here. Okay. What I basically was just like drawing mine in. Now I'll tell you, I'm, you know, I've lost a lot of my drawing skills. I don't, I used to be able to draw when I was probably like, you know, in my teens and early twenties. Uh -huh. Dang, I keep losing my earbud out of my ear. Um, I used to do a lot more drawing. And I've got away from that. I don't draw so much anymore. I just basically paint. People would think that you can do one or the other, but <laughs> they're really two different animals. Anyway, um, I was trying to, I basically was drawing these little leaves in, and I'm like, oh, my God, what the heck? I'm so retarded. So retarded. I couldn't get the, I couldn't um, get the, um, I've got an echo going. I've got an echo, echo going to you. Is it echoing to you? Danita, are you there? Danita, are you there? She can't hear me. She can't hear me. What's going on? Can anybody uh, else hear can me? Can anybody hear me? Hello. Think, um, something's wrong with my. You there? Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, barely. You can. A little bit. Okay. Coming. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. I I had, I had my earbud. I've got earbuds in. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, an I echo. Did. Okay. It's not doing it now. Maybe I had something. Okay. I dropped my earbud out of my ear, but it seemed like it fixed itself. All right. Oh. Okay. So, you know, everybody's having these glitchy technical difficulties lately. I mean, okay. I know I'm not the only one. Is anyone else being freaking frustrated by all this technical stuff going on lately? I mean, everybody's talking about how Facebook's changed over. But anybody familiar with Mercury and, Re Mercury and retrograde? Oh my gosh, I looked it up. I mean, if you if you believe that stuff, but. Basically, I didn't exactly know what it was. I've always just heard that when it happens, all of our electronic stuff gets whacked out. And um, so I looked it up and basically what it is, it's about the orbits of the Mercury's orbit and Earth's orbits and how they don't align properly at some times. And it makes it look like the, um, well, basically Mercury goes slower, I think, than Earth, but it's faster. How's it? Mercury's closer to the sun, hello. But the, when they orbit, I know I mix it all up, but something about the orbits, when they when the Earth and the Mercury pass at certain points, um, they it makes it look like Mercury's going backwards, like spinning backwards, and uh -huh. they call it Mercury in retrograde. And whenever that happens, it happens several times in the course of a year, um, it causes... Um, things the wacky things to happen like they say your electronic systems your um oh, I messed that up didn't I your electronic systems and your um what else they say sometimes relationships and things like that I'm like um, I can believe that one oh my God. we've been at odds with each other the last few weeks I don't know can I blame it on the stars guys please I'm telling you something's up with this thing. But more than anything, I mean, like, my Wi-Fi hasn't been working. My phone keeps glitching out. I don't know. Is anybody else experiencing that stuff, or is it just something going on with me? Yeah, I've been know. having all kinds of problems with my internet, with my phone service, everything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look up Mercury and retrograde. Okay. And and then see, you know, what it's about, and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's, it's really interesting, um, but it really sucks. And I think they said that it's going to be pretty much um, like this until um, the end of this month, end of June. Oh, wow. Yeah, which I know we got the whole dang month to deal with this crap. So, um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I hope it gets better after that. Absolutely. But it, I'll have to look up and see what the other times when it's happening, too. Yeah, okay. I'd like to know. 
Let's see. I keep getting all these darn Gmail emails coming in. My phone freezes a lot lately. Yes, mine too, Francesca. I actually had to reset the darn thing. Even tonight when I was trying to get on StreamYard, it's like it kept whacking out on me. And I'm like, oh, God, am I going to have an issue? Am I going to be able to get on? I had to I had to shut it all down and reboot it. And same thing with my phone, rebooting my phone. I'm like, yep. So Mercury, we'll just bring, we're just we're going to blame it on that. Mercury, Mercury. Dang, what's with my voice? I cannot speak tonight. You know what it is? I got to slow down. I'm talking too fast. Exactly. Mercury and retrograde. Mercury and retrograde. Got it? Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, back to this uh, puppy dog. Now I got to get my camera all situated again. Hey, there we go. All right, guys. All right. See, you're doing the real color. That's the, that's the color it should be. I just mixed three different colors trying to get the right color. Yeah. The next one I paint, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that because I actually love coral peach anyway. It's such a pretty color. All right. And let these leaves dry. Like I said, everything about me is just getting the base coat on and I go back and tweak it and fix it and make it look a little bit more like something. Okay. All right. The thing about it is, is I, 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 um, I looked back on a lot of things I have on my Pinterest site, some of my old paintings. Uh -huh. I mean, I've painted murals before. I've done custom work. And like I said, I'm not the best painter in the world. I never claim to be. But I can actually paint. And when I don't, when I have time and I concentrate, I can paint pretty good. But I'm always so fast when I'm on these lives. And when I'm doing it, I'm just trying to move so darn fast. And even when you paint, uh, when you do a class, when you're, like, teaching a class, uh -huh. I'm, like, painting so freaking fast that... It's like I feel like I can't get all my shading, my values, and everything. I don't know if that'll ever change with, you know, the speeding up process. But I don't know. It's just I have to little, go a little bit slower if I'm going to actually be doing a lot of shading, a lot more detail. So with these are like these real basic, you know, beginner type paintings. Um, you just have to kind of like wing it and do the best you can, right? Okay. Let me go ahead and throw some black in here now. Are the the black same color as this isn't it with what, what's that darling legs are the same color the what honey Body, the legs are the same color as the body oh the legs oh yeah yeah the legs the legs are pretty much the same color as um i think the body right. yep and like i said it all it varies of the the um you know they're all a little bit different shade but they are definitely more on the on that pinky coral side and they are like the pink flamingos that we have the the lawn ornaments which is yeah like i said how everybody got them to really to be pink i don't know because they're that's what really wanted to that picture of the real flamingos from the zoo last week yeah yeah what are the eyes, you know well um i mean i've just been doing mine black with a little white dot in the center you know i don't know exactly what their eye color is i didn't look it up Oh, okay. I want to do here. I think I'll just do what the real eyes are. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Do I have any more artifacts? I think I do. Oh, good. Let's hear them. What color Let's. is the yeah. What color is the what? Is it black? It's black and white. If you can look up at mine and see it, it's a little bit of, um, like, the tip is black. And it has, like, a little bit of, like, a line sort of like let me hold it up see it's got like look at mine okay. it has like a little bit of a line that kind of goes up in there okay i see and that. then the rest of it's white yeah okay that's All what right. i thought there's some black in there's some not i'll do that after I put the black in you go ahead and just do these guys here what else we got here? There was this was fun. I got to run. Can't wait to see the finished products. Thank you, Jet, so much for hanging out, girlfriend. I appreciate it. Yeah, we'll check you out too. Let us know when you're when you're doing your thing. Definitely okay. show you some love. All right, bye bye. All right, cool. Anybody else we got now? Okay, just basically the same all. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This here in the middle of her legs. Ah, I didn't want to do that. What's that? What is this here in the middle of her legs? Is this a background? What's that, baby? 
Um, did you look at the tracer? It's got something in the middle of her legs. It's between her legs. Um, it's just the background. Yeah. Oh. I was gonna do but i mean i don't know i don't know what it really is but yeah it's just the background now the one that heidi did she's done it two different ways she's done it on the black background but she's also done it as a beach scene oh yeah mm -hmm. well, I, just I just i like the black background it's real nice and stark you know so yeah. i'm just gonna do the black background let me see uh the flowers are reddish orange is that what they are they are well, the ones Heidi's done are basically the color of the flamingo. Oh, I don't want to do that. But you can do hibiscus and pretty, there's a lot of colors of hibiscus. Uh, yellow, yeah. orange, red. I mean, yeah, they come in all lots of colors. So you can just do whatever color you want to on that. Oh, no. Okay. I think I'll just. So um, let's see what else I was going to talk about. Um, is that all of your um, artifacts? <laughs> no, I got a couple more. I'm just trying oh. to concentrate on my little funky leaves here. All right, let's see what else artifacts we got. We've got ta da ta ta ta. Oh, this is kind of interesting. Well, this is kind of gross, but <laughs> ancient Romans considered the tongues a delicacy. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. Not that sounds about right because you know lots of countries eat the tongue of different animals mm, i know just the idea there's such a pretty bird and then you know, it's kind of like killing i want to hope that they just didn't do it just for that you know what i mean like sure they didn't. Um, ask robert about lingua he's what about lingua it's a meat oh i'll have to ask him later he's not in here right now but yeah um is that well i know that they eat cow tongue he don't eat it but some of his family members do yeah i don't know what which one which one they eat really i just know that lingua is one of the tongues that they eat yeah yeah they eat the cow tongue and the menudo is it they put it in there uh, i'm that's, not sure uh, that's the tripe stomach or something yeah that's just disgusting i don't know I don't eat livers and things like that. I mean, I, you know, organ meats are mm -mm, you know, pass. <laughs> no. I mean, used to when I was a kid, I used to eat liver for breakfast and sometimes my mom would fix it. I won't touch it now, though. Yuck. No, gross. That's me. Not my thing. All right. I am going to do something real quick. Count. I've got to look at something to get a little reference here. Okay. I know you guys can still see me. I'm actually looking at my screen. I had a, sometimes I can be technically challenged and <laughs> i have to be a little bit technically challenged no. really now uh, and um yeah i was uh what was i doing i was um uh, pulling up what was i talking about i'm kind of like getting spaced out here so i'm trying to concentrate oh i wanted to do a split screen on my laptop you know so i could kind of just glance at the image if i needed to you yeah, know I don't have and then I know I couldn't freaking figure out how to do it today, and I'm like, "What did I what did I do last time?" If I get stuck like that, half the time I just Google it and say, "How did how do I do this?" Because <laughs> I don't know, you know. Yeah. Flamingos are really pretty easy. I mean, if you're doing a really whimsical like this, they're really simple characters to create. They're not. Yeah, they're pretty. They're really pretty easy. Yeah, and they're, they're fun and cool. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking these these legs look a little bit too off from the base color. Maybe I'll kind of do this number i think i might lighten them up a little bit are you going to do your stem screen yeah i did you mean the leaves well the the stems like the flamingos have, i mean these um hibiscus have leaves oh oh i didn't do any leaves on the hibiscus i oh. think about that no i didn't do any of the leaves the hibiscus leaves i just kind of basically left them like heidi's well she, she drew um she drew in the um stems maybe she didn't oh the stems yeah the the the, the stamen yeah uh-huh yeah those are generally like the color of the flower sort of i mean i looked it up and they're sort of like on the yellow when i looked it up it was kind of like a light yellow color so i think they're along the same tone as the actual flower too yeah, i think i like that a little bit better lighten it up a little bit let me go back to here and see if i got any more comments 
Yuck. Oh, about the tongue. I know, Francesca. Isn't that nasty? Eat the tongue. I'm just the pretty little bird. You're gonna eat that bird? No, come on, don't do that. Okay, so then um, what's another fact I got here on my list? I do have a couple more. Over there, they're kind of violent. The what, honey? The um flamingo are kind of violent over there. Oh, they are? Yeah. I didn't know they were mean birds. I mean, I know ostriches were. I know ostriches will beat the crap out of you. It could have been like a, um, a thing, one of them in heat or something like that, but they were like hitting heads. Hitting okay. Oh, I did not know that. So maybe it was just a territorial thing. Somebody was after somebody's girl or something. <laughs> yeah, oh. I don't know. They're trying to throw their, throw their feathers around a little bit. Here's another cool fact. Uh, Two, and then we'll kind of play on that. Okay, grown males. Guess how big that, that how tall they can get. Anybody want to make a guess before I tell you? I would say grown like, males. I know they're at least five feet. They're almost as tall as I am. They are. Yeah, they can get up to five eleven, which okay. they claimed as model height. <laughs> That's what they said. Like model height. I'm like, that's pretty big tall, man. Five feet. I didn't think they were that big. Yeah, they um, were almost. Now, I wonder how big an ostrich. I know ostriches can get really big. They get oh, pretty no. tall. I don't know. Okay, now, this is really cool, too. What about the lifespan of, an, of a flamingo? I wonder if they live a long time. They do live a long time. They certainly do. Ten years? Mm, no, keep going. Oh, 20 years? Keep going. 50 years. Keep going. 100 years. Well, the average lifespan is 60. Oh, wow. And there was one in Australia that lived to be 83 years old. 83. That's, That's crazy, crazy, huh? I know, yeah. That's an old dang bird, man. <laughs> yeah. He's going to have some tough great old bird. So maybe that's where they get the expression tough old bird from. <laughs> so. I never know. Uh, tough old bird. That's my mom. That my dad used to call my mom that. She's a tough old bird. He used to call her his little tomato, too. He used to call her tomato all the time. Tomato, that's sweet. Tomato. A little tomato. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about them the other day. I was looking through, well, I was going through some files. I was looking for something, and I found a file of my mom's stuff because when she passed away, I made a, uh, I did a little video memorial, uh -huh. you know, like a, for the slideshow kind of thing. And I should use my paint pen for that. I mean, because I like to use a paint pen. It's a lot more controllable than using the lines. Um, anyway, yeah. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm call that good. Uh, Term, I'm, I'm switching back and forth on my laptop here so I can see what I'm doing and talk to you and actually look at my picture because I didn't print one out. So, yeah, and I can see my comments too. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so anyway, I saw some photographs. Yeah, I pulled out a little file with my mom's stuff in it. I'm like, oh, my mama. Yes, sir. You know, she passed away a few years back. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Sorry. It's all right, you know. I mean, it's kind of weird when we were younger, we weren't that close. And then as we, you know, towards like the last few years that she was alive, we started like really getting close and stuff. And then she goes away and I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, that's how it happens sometimes. Yeah. All right. I don't know. I don't know if I like all that black. Maybe once I get the black on, I might like that flame a little better. It just looks a little too stark for me. But we'll see. I guess it, like, maybe it looks better from far away. Okay, what do you guys think? Does it look better? Does it look okay? All right, now I'll start painting that black, and I think everything's going to kind of tie in a little bit here, and I can tweak my my things. Let me look at here. Da, 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 one quick second. Let me reference. And got some white on there. All right, I'm going to paint my black in. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint my black in now, and then I can mess with the rest of it later. All right, so, yeah. Um, yeah, 83 Australia. Powerful. Oh, they said that they're powerful flyers too, that they can fly oh, really well. Fly. I didn't see any flying at the zoo. No, they weren't. They weren't flying. Maybe they were I take clip them or something for the zoo. I don't know. <laughs> well, they interestingly enough, now that you mentioned zoo, because they said that in the zoo, so basically like in captivity, they probably live a little longer, I would think. I mean, sometimes they say things don't live as long, but they say in the zoos, they live to be about 60. 
So uh -huh. in the wild, I really don't know what they live to be. Oh, okay. Yeah. By the way, once I'm done with this, I've got a little fun stencil I'm going to throw on mine too. That I'm going to. I'm not going to use this little brush for this whole space. I just want to get in here. Do you like guys my Do what? Do you like my flowers? Oh, they're pretty colors. Yes, gorgeous. Orange and gorgeous, yellow. gorgeous. Orange and yellow. Yes. When I used to be a, a plant vendor, <clears throat> um, I um, <clears throat> we had hibiscus. You know, some of the times when we get the hibiscus flowers, and they were one of my favorites, definitely. I love the hibiscus. They're pretty. They're a pretty flower. I've got a hibiscus and a butterfly on my back. Do you? Yeah. I don't have any flower flower. I didn't plant it. Like I said, I didn't plant any flowers. It was so flipping no. hot. We haven't had, we just got rain this oh. week. Can literally you got rain the last two days it has not rained in, in like a, over a month which is really rare for florida wow yeah yeah i know it's been like crazy dry i'm not used to having to water my outdoor plants and i looked over and i got a tree the citrus tree that's like Mah! leaves are falling off i'm like oh crap i need that there and water that damn thing oh so, wow. i wish i had a mm -hmm. citrus um it's one i bought in a pot at walmart and um, I just put it in the ground this year, of course, and this year's, of course, we don't have any dang water. So, what kind of leaf a little bit. Pardon? What kind is it? It's, uh, I think it's a Meyer lemon. Oh, okay. With the big old fat lemons, you know, if those are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Francis. Yeah, we did, didn't we, Francis? It's been crazy dry. I mean, I, I used to live out in the desert. I mean, even Texas is super dry out there. You know, I mean, Texas gets a fair amount of, well, I'm trying to remember. Does Texas get a lot of rain? Not, I mean, just average, right? Yes, it's been getting a whole lot of rain. We are oh, flooded out all of my tomato plants. Oh, oh it's so well, God, you guys are just opposite of us. Well, I'm kind of nervous because I'm wondering if the fact that we didn't get an early rain, if that's going to mean we're going to have a lot of hurricanes. <laughs> we had a lot of hurricanes last year, I think. And um, I mean, we were this area, this region was pretty lucky, but uh, we did have a tornado come through Delan and knock out my my old workshop <laughs> so got a new one brand new one that i'm in right now my little she shed area but yeah it just woo tornado came through in just two seconds that's what's interesting about between a hurricane and a tornado is that a hurricane you got a little bit of time you know they know when they're coming in they can tell you what they're going to be generally and i mean they can turn a little bit but um, the fact is, is, you know, when a tornado comes in, shoot, you hardly have any warning. And that's actually my first tornado. I've been in five hurricanes. I've been in, um, uh, oh, hurricane Michael up in Panama city, which was crazy destructive. And, um, that was like the one that really kind of like had me more respect because, you know, I've lived in Florida. I'm like, ah, yeah, hurricane, you get them all the time. But hurricane Michael, we stayed there for it. And I was like, dang, okay. I've got a newfound respect for these dang things. Oh, yeah. Um, but what was I going to say? When I've been through an earthquake out in California, when I used to live out in California, been in multiple crazy snowstorms and you know, a lot of adverse weather stuff. But that was my first tornado. Yep, last year was my first tornado. Been in a real tornado. Well, I was. The thing about it is, is I was at Aldi shopping when it happened. Oh. Yeah, and, and I. Yeah, I, I put my earbuds on. I beep up to my music. And, you know, I looked outside and I saw a storm. I'm like, oh, okay, we're having a water. You know, we're having a little bit of a storm. No big deal. We always have storms. Then I've got my cart full. I'm getting ready to check out, literally standing in line. And the power goes up. And I'm like, okay, well, I still didn't think much about it. I just thought, well, okay, power outage. They got a backup generator. Then next thing I know, like, well, okay, no, our power is out. <laughs> You're not going to be able to check out your food. And I'm like, what? I got an entire shopping cart here. I just, what are you going to do with it? Stick it back in the freezer. So I had to just leave my food and walk out the door. And that's what I realized, though, when I got out, that that that's what happened. It was a tornado. I didn't even know there was a tornado until I walked outside. I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's a tornado. Then when I finally made it home because all the trees were down and it was like being in a hurricane, it took me about, uh, I lived like two miles from the Aldi's, it took me about 
40 minutes to get home because of the traffic and everything. And then uh, come to find out that, yeah, uh, dang, um, Robert made it home before I did. And he goes, uh, well, yeah, a tree whacked it. It fell over. The neighbor's tree fell over and took out our workshop, my little shed. So, oh, my goodness. Yeah. Didn't get, we didn't get too bad. I mean, some of it was pretty beat up, but we didn't lose too much, really. You know, we lost the shed, but basically the landlord, he, he put it back on, and which was really nice of him, actually, to do that. Okay, let's see. Where am I at here? I guess I put that black on there for no reason. I don't really see that black. I have to do it white. Do, 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 do. I need to get me a smaller brush get in and out of these little spaces here. Um, okay, I, I see. I'm trying to keep from having dead air here. I know it's not kind of boring. When Do you have an Etsy shop? Do I have a what, honey? Etsy shop? I used to. Well, actually, I still have it. It's just not active. <laughs> oh, right. You did tell me about that. Okay. I was just going to um, talk about a little bit of a few things about the Etsy shop. If people yeah, go for it. Have Etsy shop, um, some things that you need to do. First of all, you need to make sure that you have all the information filled out on Etsy, okay? You can't mm -hmm. look you need to fill out the about me. You need to fill out everything that you possibly fill out on Etsy because that's what it wants and that's what you need to do to have a good job running and have it give you your full respect. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, then after that, you need to have all of your pictures filled in. You can't have four or five pictures. It's got a, a space for 10 pictures and you need to have them all filled in. Every picture filled, even if it's just uh, the same picture over and over, you know, a couple times, not really over and over, but um, you can fill it with a page where it says, um, follow me on social media, or I do free shipping or whatever, but all the pages need to be filled in with a, page, with a photo. Okay. And also, I, never, I never had a problem with that. I had like 50 some, 50 some images when I was doing mine. Well, no, maybe about 40 some. Yeah, you can only have 10 on each each picture, on each each post. Each post. Like each each thing that you put on there, like if I put a book on there, has to, it needs to have 10 pictures. There's 10 spots for uploads. Okay. Okay. Well, how come I had so many? I don't know what, maybe I'm thinking of something different then. Yeah. Um, and another thing about the photos, you have to use the best light that you can. The best light that you can use is natural light, of course. But if you can't mm -hmm. use natural light, uh, you want really bright light flooding your room. You know, like you want the best light that you can get. You don't right. want dark, but you want the best looking photos because you're trying to get people to click on your page, you know. So you want to yep. have the best photos that you can have because you want or something like that possibly to make you have the best photos that you can. I um, found that the best way I like to take photos if you can get them. I did a stint as a photographer, you know, with uh, actually before Hurricane Michael, portrait photography. And I always found that the best light for taking images, if you can, is um, outside when when it's uh, cloudy. Yeah, outside, um, non-direct light, you know, like yes. you know, on mm -hmm. the brightest sunlight you can or with the sunny or, or cloudy. It doesn't matter as long as it's very bright outside, you know. Right. Make for a better picture. You don't or want to underneath or underneath like a shaded area. You know, like when like a shaded tree or something like that. You don't want any shadows. Anyway, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, that's okay. And what else? So what? I guess I'm I'm trying to like. It's been a while since I've actually been on my page, so maybe I'm thinking differently about something that because you're talking about you can only have so many pictures uploaded what i was doing was selling concrete stepping stones painting concrete stepping stones okay and so i i just had a site where i put all my work on there i'm not sure yeah about, on each thing that you sell for instance i'm going to sell this picture you need to have 10 pictures of this up there or at least 10 pictures in that um that site that post there where you're posting this up you know, like you can't have like four or five of the pictures. There's only 10 spots available. So you need to have all 10 of those pictures filled in. You can't leave part of them blank. 
because Etsy doesn't see, you know, they, they want all of their stuff filled in. And the way for them to respect you the most and put your picture out there the most is for you to have the best pictures, for you to have everything filled in. They're not going to have somebody that just has their name on there and two or three pictures and part of the, uh, part of the, um, and, not direction, part of the description or what you want all of that filled out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You oh, probably, yeah. Well, I mean, I, yeah, I did all that. Yeah. yeah, but what I'm saying is you can only have 10 pictures of each item that you have for sale up. Okay. Yeah. But pictures is the main way to get people to look at your stuff. So you want them to click on your page. So, of course, you want them to look at your well, I swear I had more. I know I had more than 10, 10 pictures of my, because I had like, as far, maybe it was a variety or something. I don't know. Because yeah. I know that. You could have a whole lot of things for sale. Like you can have 50 things for sale. But with each thing you have for sale, you have to have 10 pictures. But that's all you can have. Okay. But you might have had a lot of stuff on there for sale, you mean, right? Well, I had, they were all stepping stones. Oh, okay. Yeah, they were all, di but they were different images. Oh, okay. They had, you know, they, one had like, I don't know, uh, a gecko okay. or, you know, one had like flower, whatever, all different stuff, you know, like different images. Okay. But they were all um, different. So maybe that was the, I don't know. Yeah. Why I had how long has it been? Oh, Hurricane Michael, two years. Okay, because I used to, um, well. I haven't looked at it in a while. I need to do, I just never closed it out because I kept thinking I might want to use it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whenever I first started um, doing, well, not when I, probably about two years ago, up to a year yeah. ago, I um, people need to put their pictures on Etsy. So I got to know a whole lot of stuff that Etsy wanted, you know. That's what I did. Like, that was my job. People paid me. They Ooh. said, have time to put their stuff on Etsy, so they just wanted me to do it. So that's what I did. Awesome, that's cool. I'm so, I'm my so that's you know. I also there's a thing called E Rank. It used to be Etsy Rank, but now it's E Rank, and they it's part of Etsy, and they actually grade you on your grade about uh, how how your shop is. Like I used to have. C's and D's and sometimes E's, but then I learned how to do it, and now all my all of my all of my photos are A's. I have an A grade on everything. Good for you. So, do you have your own Etsy shop now too, or what? Um, and that's because you have if you fill out everything they want you to fill out, have every have every single tag filled out, have every that they have for filled out. That's how you get the perfect grades. And that's when they start showing your stuff. I see. Okay. Now all the time. Well, it's never selling. It's not selling. And, you know, you probably heard that all the time. A lot. I don't know. Uh, yeah. You know what's interesting? Um, I, believe it or not, thought I had pretty, I mean, I wasn't gangbusters, but um, I did pretty good with my darn stones, to tell you the truth. Because, number one, I know why. Because I priced them really low. Um, and they were, and I did have a variety. Like, I had, like I said, a 30 to 40 different. Well, when I did a lot, I mean, I did it in person because I used to do like uh, the, what do you call them? The uh, flea markets and stuff. I had almost 50 different images that I'd put out. And so I was painting all kinds of different things. I did Christmas themes and all kinds of stuff. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, I surprisingly did pretty well with the Etsy's. But the problem was it wasn't cost effective to me. I was only charging I got freaking thingy critters in here. I was only charging like 20 some 28 or something a stone. Stones weren't the price, but you know, it was and I would do images that I could do like super fast. They were very simple. You know, maybe a 45 minute hour you know, tops image, simple little things. They were cute but simple. And um but putting them to ship them was a pill. And what happened in the beginning, I thought I was going to be safe because I thought the post office was going to protect my work, <laughs> you know, but then I come to find out, no, they throw everything around and I just put them, I had them packed in bubble wrap, which I thought was protected, but you got to remember, these are 15 pound uh, stepping stones, you know, they're concrete. So Thanks. they ended up, yeah, they ended up, some of them broke. The first few batches that I sent out to customers broke. And of course they were insured. I got them 
I got my money back, but I had to retain them and send them out again. Exactly. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> believe it or yeah. not, I actually made more more money that way when they would break because <laughs> because I had to, you know, I got the fifty dollars for them and I <laughs> turn around and do it and send them back to them. But anyway, um, yeah, so it was just a pill. So I ended up having to make a box. I put them in a separate box with yeah. a padded box and then put it in the box and ship them. And I'm like, nah, it ain't worth my time. Yeah, it's so it much really time. and everything. And then you don't get to make I was, it. Yeah, I was spending as much time packaging them up. And I was trying to make it fast and productive. But it was cost, It was taking me a good 20 minutes just to pack one thing. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. This, this ain't worth it. So I just stopped doing it. I am going to teach a, a stepping stone painting soon okay. on here. Yeah. And, uh, but I'm not going to actually try to do them and try to make, sell them anymore because they're just not worth it. Yeah. People how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And that should, people should be interested in that. Yeah, there, that's actually how it started for me is um, I just I did a class one time and I thought these are super cute and people really liked them. I thought oh, maybe I can sell these. But, you know, like it's not practical, even even when you're doing them in person, because you have to even though um, I well, the way I do them is I put a base coat down um, like a primer base coat on the stone. Give me like my white gesso base and then I put my outdoor paints and then I put two sealer coats on top and all that. I mean, they're fairly protective. And, you know, I've tested them. Some of them will last pretty long. Yellows, they, they don't go too good in the sun, though. Anyway, um, but um, when you're stacking them, trying to store them, you know, you can't put a hard – you can do like a soft shoe walk-on, and you can handle them softly. But if you try to, you know, do like a hard surface, they'll scratch. So – that was another thing I had to put, um, had to have like little pieces of, uh, what do you call it? Cardboard in between each one. Oh, to keep, yeah. To keep them from getting, um, trashed, getting scratched up, whatever. And I had them in the back of my truck and I was loading and loading them on my truck. They're freaking heavy after a while, you know? Uh -huh. So I just stopped. I just quit it all together. I think next time I will paint the black crown first. Me and my broad ideas. I think it'd just be easier than trying to go around like yeah. I did now. For me to do my black first. Yeah. Usually I always do. And for some crazy reason, I said I wanted to do it this way like idiot. I think, like I said, because I've been doing the black lights. And the last couple of days I've been doing black light paintings. And those I paint at the end because when you I put the, the black background first, uh, last, because when you're painting, with the black light paints, you got to use white as a base. You have to use white as a base. Well, I'm going to have to go around that with white, too, because he's going to blend right in there. That little guy. Anyway, uh, yeah. So um, when you do that, the black light paints are so translucent. You can't just do it all black and then paint, you know, paint over it. And then I tried using the whites, like painting white over the black after I'm done. Mm -hmm. But... That was like my first trial and error with it. The, uh, you know, you have to paint like a solid white. You can't just do like a, it's very streaky. It's kind of what I'm trying to say. Right. So I just ended up using the base and it turned out really good once I did that. And I even asked a friend of mine who's a really good phenomenal airbrush artist who does murals and stuff. I asked him about using black light paint and how to do it. And he, I was right. He said, you'd use your white base first. And then you, everybody outlines it in black. I'm like, okay, uh, so that's what I did. So that's why me and my wild hair on this one thought, oh, I'll just outline it in black first. We'll know that this particular case is, is not the right thing to do because it's taken way too long. I could have been done with her already. Yeah, all I've got to do now is outline. Yeah, see, you're already ahead of me. I should have been pretty much done with this thing, although i got to tweak my my other stuff too still because I'm using, having to use a smaller brush to get around the little details and all that kind of crap just pain in the butt. I thought oh this is going to be a little quick fast paint <laughs> so um, let's see what else do I have any more facts 
powerful. Oh, oh, this is kind of interesting. This is the last tidbit I have. I got to fix my beak too because my beak just got lost in the black. Um, they are monogamous animals like penguins. They only have one mate. Flamingos. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Flamingos only have one, they're monogamous, and the females only lay one egg per year. Did you get that? Hello? Am I not being able to, can you not hear me again? Oh, Are you what? able to hear me? I hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just wouldn't reply. I thought maybe I went dead again. Oh, I, I didn't hear you at first, but then I heard you. Yeah, I said I said they're monogamous animals. Oh yeah, I heard that. I was laughing at you because you're like uh, oh. the the flamingos that is. Yeah, the flamingos that is. <laughs> not me. Not not as humans. We should be, but we're not. Um, yeah. So anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. They only lay one egg per year, and if something happens to the egg and it gets damaged, they do not lay another egg that year. So oh, right. they wait to, yeah, so sometimes it could take a couple of years. That's, I guess they said that's one of the reasons why the population um, doesn't grow very quickly sometimes is because the oh. fact that they, that's the way that they mate and populate. Yeah, this is like a totally good idea of me to do it this way. I'm never going to do this again. I'll always pick my background first. Like I always right. use your instincts and use what you know, Kim, try to do something stupid, stupid like this. It's going to cost me more time and effort to go back over this now. Yeah. Because I'm having to go to, you know, not cover up my paint and use an this little teeny brush to do it with. Get in these small detail layers before I can use my big, air, big brush. So much for me trying to be the professional teacher painter, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It'll all turn out okay in the wash. It just take it longer than it should. Um, what else can we talk about? So on your Etsy, what do you have on there? Your wreaths? I have wreaths and uh, some door hangers. Oh, door hangers. Okay, cool. And That's something I've never really gotten into as far as, I mean, I'm just starting now to like, you know, learn some, of, not learn, but just embrace, I guess it's a good word, some of this stuff as far as like door hangers and things like that, porch leaners and all that. I love them. I just never thought about making them. <laughs> you, well, know? you have to cut those. Hmm? You have to cut those out in shapes. Like I've got a flamingo. Right. You know, I will have to cut it out in the shape that it is, kind of. Do you do well on Etsy? I mean, do you sell there? A lot of times I do, but right now I've not really been putting a lot of time into it because I've been doing the paintings. And because I've been uh, learning my cricket, I want to get really good at that as best mm -hmm. I can taking a class. And people want to learn um, how to do the cricket. So I'm I'm going to be starting a class on that soon. You know what? I am. I feel so guilty. I've got one still sitting in the box. You know what? I had one sitting in the box for like over a year. And finally, I got it out. And once I started watching videos and learning it, it took me no time to learn it. But. I left it in the box for a year. You know, I, I don't know what it is. It's just, I feel like, and I keep looking at it going, I need, to, Susan gave it to me for Christmas, for my or Christmas birthday in April. And I, I have not touched it. And I thought, God, I need to get this thing and I need to sit down and do it, you know, because I know it can't be that bad. You know, it's just, I, my brain doesn't want to rack trying to do something new. Yeah, I guess. It's kind of doing something new. You know, Pam Savage? Mm, Pam Savage, no. Our page, and she's all the time commenting, and she does a lot of paintings. Okay. And she she doesn't know anything about the cricket, but she's a perfect painter. I mean, she's one of the best painters over there. But uh, she doesn't know how to do the cricket, so she wants to learn how to do the cricket. A lot of people on my page do. So I'm okay. Gonna, and I I know how to do everything, but I'm just taking a, a class, a refresher class. Just so I know how to do everything. So if there's any questions, it's like a cricket college. So you're taking a class or you're teaching a class? No, I'm taking a class right now. It's called cricket college.
but that's so I can teach exactly everything I need to know. Like I already when know, you, but, but I'm. It's kind of like when you a, learn it, you can teach me. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a refresher course. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just feel like I've been learning so much stuff, just the techie end of things and all this stuff. I'm just kind of like burnt out. I want to learn, yeah. take on something else right now. I don't know. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I mean, I kind of feel the same way. Like, but I, oh, God, I learned to pick it. So I'm going to go take this class and learn a lot of stuff that I, hopefully some of it I don't know. So I'll be able to know everything that I need to know, you know? Mm hmm Well, but let's see. We've got we've been in this a little over an hour. We're pretty much the lone wolves again, but that's okay. We got people. That's kind of what they do. I don't. Most people they stick around through the whole thing. I don't always watch everybody's all the way either. I Sometimes I do. Something I go to the end. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. At least you know the fact that people actually popped on is really cool. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're teaching a class, like a class class, where people are actually painting with you, it's a little different story because they're engaged. You know, they're doing something like you and I are doing now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, you know, there's more interest in wanting to hang around to you get your piece done. So, yeah, i got to get to an outline all the same and everything. I don't know why so much coming out. Definitely going to do this different next time. I'm just going to paint over everything. Next time, I'm just going to do it black and just paint right over it like I should have done the first time. I love the color of your bird. Oh, thank you. that I'm gonna do the highlights in the bird and I'm done pretty much I've still got to do the white but that's it yeah this should have I should probably have had this knocked out in a good hour if I hadn't done this I would have had it done already of course I was gabbing a lot too yeah I mean I'm, I don't push myself you know I, I'm done when I'm done. If you need to get off, then we'll get off. Mm -hmm. I am totally good. So which, what's Hubby's work schedule this week? When's his days off? Um, he, he's been off for a vacation for like 10 days now. So he's today's his last day off. Oh, okay. So he's still off. Okay. I thought he would be back to work. No, he goes back tomorrow. That's cool. I'm in 10 days. Mm -hmm. More black, more black, even more black. Yeah, I gotta sit down. Dang, I just dropped my brush. I got bad fingers. Um, I just, I need to sit down the next couple days and start filling up my events calendar for the next, I've got through some classes in July. You know, everything's free, but I don't know what else to do about it because I don't have an audience and I know nobody's going to pay for anything. So, you know, just see all that big banter on uh, the PPHQ about all the free stuff going on and people asking about it and everything. No, what was it? Yeah, because you actually commented, you said, you know, um, um, party, a uh, profit every party. When they were talking about all the freebies that are out there, and um, and then how is that going to work when you're trying to get people to you know pay and all that? So I'm like, well, I know. I mean, what do you do about that? <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know what to do about that. Well, like in your city, you can't really do any uh, free stuff because that's just not going to work out for you. Online. No, I'm talking online is what they're talking about. You know, that might work, but 
it's not going to help you get uh, virtual parties, obviously. That's what I'm saying. You know, I mean, if all these people are off in freebies online, how do they end up? And I've heard, you know, you do a little bit of both and, you know, you offer this and that. But still, I don't see like, how that's going to work. A little bit of both and that's how it gets it, you know. I just realized, have you been able to hear the music? No. I just realized because I haven't had it up. I have it on and I just barely hear it now all this time. Like, okay, let me turn it up the volume up and see if you You can hear it now, right? Is it like beeping? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. Yeah. Try that one. See what this one's like. I had it down all this time. Well, I had it on, but it was so low. And then, I don't know. Can't really hear it. Oh, damn it. I should have brought my, got my paint pad. Can you see mine? What's up? What's up? Can you see this? Hold up, let me look. I gotta get switch over to my screen here. Oh, Danita, that's cute. It's not as cute in person as it is on the camera, but that's okay. Oh, no, it's cute. No. It's a little brighter, a little uh, more color. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like how you got a lot of the, uh, the detail. Like I said, mine's a little bit more on the funky side. I got to work with it a little bit and get it to where I want it. But yeah. I'll just have to play with it later. I'm probably just going to go ahead and finish this off camera. Because there's no point in me being on at this point. But, um, yeah, that looks really cute. That turned out good. So I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a little stencil over here on mine. Where? Uh, off to the side here. Okay. I got this little, it says summer. Uh -huh. I'm just going to put that little summer stencil over to the side on it. Oh, okay. That'd be cute. Yeah, but I definitely got to play with mine a little bit more and get it tweaked. If I could find room, I could put it somewhere. Somewhere. Well, I saw I was trying to do something a little bit different off the cuff, you know. Yeah, I gotcha. I think mine's peeled up already. I'm not gonna put anything else on it. Mm. I just need an artist book here. I don't. Oh, a mixed media. All right. Let me see how it looks in the camera. I've got to actually like, put a little white here because I've got my beak and everything. Can't even see it. Let me paint that. I'm going to use my paint pen on that. I ran out on my white paint pen. That's pretty cute. All right. Like I said, I haven't finished mine, but we're going to kind of hold them up and get an eye view of differences. Okay. Yeah. Mine looks, looks really, really light in the camera, even though it's pretty pink. I should have say, is yours Yeah, the camera's showing it like super white, but it's actually pretty pink. Maybe I'll take the picture of it later. But yeah. Okay. And then I'll put my summer on there and everything, and I'll finish it up later on, and um, we'll, we'll post some more pictures on them. Okay. So we'll, we'll go ahead you. and see you again. We'll work okay. out something for the next two weeks, and we'll be live again. Once again, if anybody stayed to the end or you do watch the replay, I'm Kim, Crafted with Kim. This is Danita Atkinson, Buttercup Creations. All right. Buttercup Creations. And we will see you. Well, I'll see you next week. 
solo, but um, see us two weeks from now. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs>